And blog move. What do we got? I don't uh, know. On this beer view. I'm trying to read. Uh, it's a truly spiked and sparkling pomegranate. It's a sparkling water with a pomegranate flavor. Truly. 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 So what what jumped out to me with this is that it's a hundred calories for for an alcoholic beverage. That's that's really good. But you would expect it to be like three percent. Yeah, it's still five percent. It's actually five percent. And this isn't five percent donated to charities. Yes, it's actually five <laughs> percent. Let's see. This better be a twist off. All right. Oh, oh, busy, busy, nice. busy. Sparkling water. Pay no attention to the items behind the pour. Hmm? Yeah, don't do that. That video has long since been out. Because <laughs> this video, I have beer views uploaded until like two months into next year. <laughs> this, so video is, this video is coming out in like July. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It's uh, good to see the old taster here. Huh? Mm -hmm. it smells good. It smells really good. Has anybody in this room had a Zima? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to know if this is like a Zima. Wow, it sure smells good. <laughs> That's a good thing to say after you taste it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah. It's... It's it's just club soda. Oh. It's not quite as, like, that kind of weird bitter that club soda has, but, I mean, it's sparkling water. That's all it is. I'm not getting any flavor. Yeah, it, it smells like a hibiscus -y sort of thing. And this is pomegranate, huh? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it kind of like one of those New York seltzers, New mm -hmm. York seltzer water thing. Yeah, like the old Claire the Canadians or whatever they... <laughs> you know what it's like. You know what it's like. If you if you had some strawberry yogurt in this cup before you poured the seltzer water in it, <laughs> yeah. that's what it's like. It's like really watered down strawberry yogurt that's turned a little bit. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's. Fuck you, oven. That, that, pay no attention to the beeps. Yes. <laughs> that was my red flags going up. <laughs> nah, it tastes like um, seltzer water and turned berries. That's what it tastes like. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, the berry flavor, there's no sweetness to it, but there is kind of a little bit of funk to it, so it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like I just got a bad raspberry or something. Uh -huh. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Well, it it does say product. it has a hint of pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to point that out, that they weren't lying about the flavor. And it is sparkling. It's just a spiked sparkling beverage. So but it smells Think so about good. a Talking Rain or like a, a, a LaCroix. Dude, there's way more flavor in LaCroix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like you had a Talking Rain that you just poured like a, like a little shot of vodka inside of it. So See, I think I'd rather do that, though. You get yeah. a little bit of follow-through with the alcohol taste at the end, which adds a little bit of funk. I'm not going to deny that, that it's not super appealing, mixing into, like, the uh, the dryness of the, the sparkling water. But I get a little bit of berries in there. I get a little bit of berries, which is nice. I agree with Wero, though. If I had a talking rain and a little bit of vodka, the flavor of the vodka would probably come out on top over whatever that flavor is. Yeah, that might be, that's probably a better bet, because you think, you get a shot of vodka, you have 60 calories in that. It's going to have probably more alcohol than just drinking one of these. Yes. And depending on what flavors you get, like I'm into LaCroix, totally. Uh, I love that shit, so that has a little bit better flavor. Uh, and as, especially at the price point, because this shit is expensive. It's like, it's more than nine bucks for a six pack. So, this is for like... Ooh super lazy oh my God, drinkers no. but but think about it just like look at it you, you you're, if you just look at this i mean it kind of just looks like a, a random sparkling fancy sparkling drink you wouldn't necessarily think it's alcohol in there so you know if you're at work oh and <laughs> what are you trying to sell 
There could be lawsuits, Bank. If, if you're <laughs> filling out spreadsheets all day and, and you're not doing anything else, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, I have I'm sparkling water. I'm not getting drunk. <laughs> I mean, you can't take out a talking rain and pour vodka into it. Just get one of these. Yeah, don't don't like mix it in the thermos at home. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> if you're that sad, I'm sure you you've got a billion different ways. Hey, to get they it lose uh, they lose the carbonation quick. You don't want to pre mix it. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, hey. well, what level of drunk are you that you drink at work? <laughs> I drink at work all the time. But you're gonna drink these. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I just, I just make margaritas. Is what I do. Yeah. Uh. It doesn't smell too boozy either, but so I don't know. I don't know. I, I can kind of picture the market for this, but they're they're not quite achieving what they're setting out to do. So I give them kudos for trying. I would I would probably rather drink this than like a Michelob Ultra. Definitely. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just kind of uh, yeah, especially at the price. The price is killer. Yeah, can you believe that? Jesus, I can. I yeah. just now heard it. Yeah. Just go get some LaCroix and put some Jägermeister in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. This has been Beer View. Please like, share, subscribe. If you tried out this crazy shit, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.